Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show for week one of the NFL season. Taking a look at Monday Night Football. Got Ravens taking on the Raiders. Should be a pretty good game here, so let's just jump right into it. I'm sorry, Ms. Jackson. That's a very interesting Monday night game. Raiders finally getting to open up Allegiant Stadium for fans. And, you know, they're going to hope to put on a performance here. Um, unfortunately for them, I don't know if they have the, the best team to be showing off the stadium. You know, these Raiders, especially on the offensive line, um, which has kind of held this team together at times the past few seasons, lost a lot of talent here in the offseason. Um, without Brown, Jackson, Hudson on this team, all three of those guys gone. I just don't know who is going to be able to protect Derek Carr. And Derek Carr, as the Raiders quarterback at this point in his career, it just doesn't seem like there's much long-term value at really just sticking with him and continue to play. Um, but as far as, you know, outside of that, this, you know, team did manage to, to put together a decent 2020 season. It wasn't anything special. Um, obviously, Darren Waller is, you know, going to be a, a top tight end in the league for sure this season. Um, and I think with, you know, the addition of John Brown, that should help, you know, make up a little bit for the departure of Nelson Aguilar. Um, Josh Jacobs is obviously one of the best run young running backs in the league at the moment, um, you know, making a name for himself and bringing in Kenyon Drake from the Cardinals um should you know boost the the raiders run game I, although i don't know how much it's, it's going to help him at all josh jacobs already doing a great job there um and the ravens on their side of the ball <clears throat> you know lamar jackson enters this season just two years after his mvp season did struggle at times last season especially to find the end zone only 26 touchdowns compared to 36 in 2019 um and this offensive line is you know kind of like the raiders one that needs to get better the loss of orlando brown to the chiefs is definitely gonna hurt them um but bringing alejandro villanueva which you know should help fill some of those shoes kyle's kevin zeitler also a very good option on the offensive line so i think those should definitely help out um and marquise brown is you know one of the best targets that jackson has sammy Watkins is another guy who's going to add some depth to this receiver group um, and Pro Bowl tight end Mark Andrews you know is, is another guy who who you know rounds that out so definitely some talent to throw to for Lamar Jackson and J.K. Dobbins running the ball is going to be a, a guy who's looking to you know replace the the hole that Mark Ingram left um, with that said though obviously Lamar, Lamar Jackson is going to be you know a guy who's always going to be able to run the ball in the running back room and for the Baltimore is not going to not going to be the biggest threat. So offensively, I think the Ravens definitely have a huge advantage going into this game um, over the Raiders. <clears throat> We look at the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, Clay's Campbell, Derek Williams, Derek or Brandon Williams, Derek Wolf um, make up an absolutely outstanding off or defensive line for this Raiders team. And if Campbell and Williams can stay 100, um, percent they should definitely make a threat. You know, they missed some time last season due to injury. Um, also, have a very outstanding quarter cornerback trio in Malcolm um, Humphreys, Marcus Peters, and Jimmy Smith. Um, and really, this Ravens team, I think they should be very good this season. The Raiders on defense aren't the worst. You know, Casey Hayward should be a good tight or cornerback for them um also you know they're gonna need more production out of cecil farrell um you know bringing him in you know drafting him very high in that 2019 draft i think if they can get something out of him they should you know improve but all things considered i think this raiders defense is definitely going to struggle this season um and honestly for this team as a whole i just don't see the, the raiders doing much of anything um i'm not the biggest ravens fan but I do think they should be able to cover four and a half here. So taking the Ravens minus four and a half for Monday Night Football. That is it for Monday Night Football. If you want to see picks for everything happening, head over to hottobets.com. Check out the computer model picks up there. Also, if you're not already following me, Hot Tibets Chris on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on any future content, as well as on the Best Stamp app to get early access to all of my picks. Also, follow the Hot to Bets main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date with everything going on there. As well as if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on for Monday Night Football. And thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.